has held the title of Australia's best horse for the last two years running and very elegant has shown us exactly why. Winning the Melbourne Cup in a finish that was absolutely fantastic. We're joined now by the trainer behind her success and an all-round legend, Chris Waller in Sydney. Big round of applause for Chris Waller, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, guys. How's Thanks your head much. this morning, my man? Um, yeah, it's been better. I was just wondering <laughs> if it's... Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, how, how long the day's going to go for because it's uh, been a demanding 12 hours at least, but it's a, a great thrill and a privilege to be part of Australian history in terms of racing. And, uh, yeah, what a day, Carl. It was something really, really special. Really incredible. Um, look, you watched the race yesterday uh, with the unofficial official leader of, of your family, Steph. Um, she is truly a force of nature. Um, and Tyler and Nikita, your kids. Uh, what was that moment like when she crossed the line for you guys as a family unit? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty special. Um, yeah, it's sort of things you dream of, Carl, and, but um, actually expecting them to happen is something different. So, yeah, when she uh, yeah, crossed the line, it was very special. Oh, mate. <laughs> Jeez, you're making me cry. Well, <laughs> it's, it, it, well, it's it a, obviously it's meant so much. Race. Race. Yeah. yeah, it's an iconic race, and it's been a tough 18 months for everyone in Australia. New Zealand and um, we just we've made it out of COVID and it was pretty special. Oh man, you are a, <laughs> a, <laughs> both of us crying on national TV. We'll never live this down. Um, but Chris, um, <laughs> it must even must have been relief for you too. I mean, you've done everything else, and this is a different kind of race, the Melbourne Cup, especially hard to win for very different reasons. What a horse! Yes, yeah, she is. Um, it's a handicap, so the best horses carry the most weight. So she had 57 kilos, um, which is a lot of weight for a, for a mare. And um, she's not a big horse. She's only 440 kilos. In terms of a horse, they're normally upwards of 500. So she would have probably been the lightest horse in the race. And to carry that big weight, it's something something unique, really. And. Uh, don't know how she did it, but she did it with class. You know, and, and I know Horse of the Year, but she had a doubters. She had a lot of doubters. Yeah, well, it's a very short price favourite in Cinderbys, and I guess it took um, took it took the the limelight away from us pre-race because, yeah. as you said, she was Australia's Horse of the Year last year. So we got under the radar to some degree, and um, yeah, when she flew past the favourite, mm. it uh, was a pretty good feeling. Chris, when, I mean, you had the decision here. Um, you had to make a big decision, and that was whether or not to, to run her. Um, you know, obviously, you've made the right decision now. Um, but, but it was a very real possibility um, that, that she wasn't going to run in this race. Yeah, her, basically, her grand final was the Cox Plate 10 days ago. And I said to the owners, we won't be going on if she doesn't bounce through the race really well. And, and I certainly meant it and we had to make a final decision on Saturday afternoon and I rang the owners and said look I can't fault her there's not one reason not to run her and despite the big weight and her not being favourite and that well fancied let's run and um, yeah I'm pretty pretty pleased with this. <laughs> you can't get a better decision <laughs> you can't. I can't um, tell you how close we were to pulling her out. Really? Mm. Wow. Oh, well, you've got it now. Look, you, you hail you hail from a little country town in New Zealand called Foxton on the lower west coast of the North Island. You literally came from nothing. Did you ever... You're trying to make me cry. No, no. <laughs> you and Steph, you both, you're, you're, you've been through a lot. Did you ever dare to dream that you would get the Melbourne Cup? No, Carl. No. Not at all, so... Yeah, it's... Um... As I've said a few times, <clears throat> very special moment and um, yeah, something that I'll respect, respect and see as a privilege. Oh, mate. <laughs> it's just... It's, you do things differently. I mean, um, and, and you truly... You, I've, I have the privilege of knowing you and for anyone watching around the country, you work so bloody hard um, and, and you give so much to racing and 
you, you're one of the best ever, if not the best ever. And, and for you to win this race yesterday and to be to be around you was was truly special. Uh, anyone uh, you want to thank uh, this morning? I know that Steph will kill me if you don't uh, thank her specifically. <laughs> Yeah, Steph, Steph's been a great soldier behind me, as as have the, the young family now as well. And just got so many people behind my team and thank each and every one of them. And uh, without them, I couldn't do it. And it, it, it drives me to, to keep going because the smile on so many strappers' faces this morning was pretty... Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Um, and we've got a shot here, I think, a, a very elegant in the stables. Um, have we got a, we've got the shot here. Um, she's doing a little bit of... Um, yoga, a bit of stretching out this morning. Uh, how she pulled up? <laughs> yeah. No, I've just seen that as well and I was, it was just magic to see. You can still see the, the colour in her coat and that's without being in the sunlight and um, she's still got good condition on her body so it's pretty special. So she'll have a good holiday now and come back for what we call the autumn racing. Yeah. Um, in March and April. No rest for the wicket. Um, you've got Thursday and Saturday to go, but it's, a, it's an honour to know you um, and a, a truly a, a great honour to be a friend of yours. Uh, and all the very best, my friend. Well done. Thanks, guys. Thank okay. you very much. Appreciate it.